this is the lyrics as we're speaking on I don't it. like it. And by the way, let me pull up the check because I was really about going to a first topic and then you guys was like, yo, cold drop. So I appreciate you guys for that. My mic is low. Y'all niggas can't Sorry. stop me. <laughs> Y'all res- niggas can't stop me. You can't. <laughs> Y'all can't stop me. No, you can't stop me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, maybe I'm just different. I don't respect that shit. Y'all can look at it like, oh, he's mature. He's squashing the beef. Man, bro, br- not like this. You don't squash it like You don't squash it by crying. Like, there's different ways. I don't like the way that you did. did, did, You don't do it like this. Yeah, you can squash the beef. There's nothing wrong with squashing the beef. But don't cry while you're doing it. Like, you crying, bro. You're not going to stop me. Like, man. I I don't like the way that he did it. I I just don't like. That shit weak, man. You're not going to stop me. Man, hold on, I want to play that part. You're not going to stop me. Y'all telling me y'all respect this bullshit? Hell fuck no. It's, it's, it's not about him squashing the beef. It's just how he did it, man. You're not going to stop me. <laughs> but never forget the vibes was on the sparrows. But shot, but if not proud of that. Some positive thoughts in your job. Where's it at? I bet you his eyes close. I guarantee you his his eyes is closed. You niggas ain't stop. I bet you he in full R and B mode. You niggas ain't stopping me. That nigga throat, that nigga moving his head like an R&B singer. You niggas ain't stopping me. You niggas ain't stopping me. That nigga really in R&B mode. <laughs> Man, is he really singing? You niggas ain't stopping me. His eyes, I guarantee you he's, his eyes is closed. You niggas ain't stopping me. Man, fuck out of here. I don't respect that. Mm-mm. Okay. And you know that nigga eyes is closed, I, man. No, so, okay. <laughs> Forget the um course, but the, the verse starts out like this. Young Jermaine walked a straight and arrow. Straight straight and uh, straight and narrow not straight arrow or straight and arrow minimum wage jobs for the dinero but i still but still my mind was on the zeros i fiend for the perks that was seen flipping birds so we was skipping church but my eyes was on the spare robes niggas flipping pies spending thousands on the pure rope okay i think these lyrics it's too early so i think some of this this lyrics is being transcribed incorrectly let's just jump to verse two where he's addressing the stuff that we clearly care about benjamin button cold flows reverses time i like that line to find deliveries, good as mine, you gotta search primes. I'm scaling heights higher than birds that can perch, trying to be something, hoping that peace come to my cursed mind. One thing's for sure, I matured from my first rhyme. I learned on the go, you can't please them all, and it hurts trying. In this game, where all you got is your name, like dirt. I'm smirking at niggas trying to besmirch mine. Observe times with, so you search lines, but you struggle with, which explains the puzzled look on the, okay, that's not finished yet. I hate when raps become, but like do not disturb signs. Can't knock it if I see it, uh, can't knock if I see it's about the dough. They instigate fuckery because it's profitable. But the second, but second stop the violence. What? I pull the plug. What? What the fuck? This this what my name is? <laughs> I pulled the plug because where Ack was about to go. What the fuck? Jacob did not say this at all. Alright, hold on. Let me just go to this. Yo, they fucked up that shit. <laughs> Yo, why did they just put my name? Like, I pulled the plug because where Ak was about to go. He literally says, I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go. How did they just throw my name in a rap beef? 
Like, how does that work? <laughs> like, yo, how does this work? Y'all clearly heard that, right? It does not mention my name. Like, whoever's on Genius, man, come on, bro. It's big fuckery because it's profitable. I'm saying it's not the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about. Yeah, because I seen where that was about to go. This is crazy. They go, they wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make they. He did not say act. Bro, he did not say act. Yo, stop. Yo, y'all are trolling me now. You did not. If you heard act, you need like hearing aid. I'm saying it's not the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go. Come on, bro. He did not say my name. See, I was trying to troll me, except I got ears. I have actual ears. He did not say my name. He said, I seen where that was about to go. They wanted blood. They wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see fire in my pen, and they think I'm dodging smoke. I would have lost. I, I, oh, I think he said, I wouldn't have lost a battle. I would have lost a bro. I would have gained a foe, and all for what? Just to attain some more props from strangers who don't know what I've been aiming for? Yeah, these lyrics aren't correct yet. They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see the I wouldn't have lost the battle, dog. I would have lost a bro. That's what he says. He says, I wouldn't have lost a battle. He said, I would have lost a bro. That's also a fire line. The only thing that confuses me about J. Cole, this is what confuses me about J. Cole, right? And I keep telling you that, like, Kendrick is Jesus. He says, I wouldn't have lost the battle, I would have lost the bro. But here's the thing, Kendrick dissed you first. Like, dog, it's like, you're calling me a bro, but the dude just woke up, went on a track, fought the big three, dissed you. It's like, it's like your homie just punched you in your mouth. And then you responded, and then you're, you're, you are apologetic for responding to his antagonization. But you struggle, which explains the puzzle. Look on the dull faces, the word. It says, but singing, but singing stop the violence tunes. That's what he says. He said they instigate the fuckery because it's profitable. Then, but but singing stop the violence tunes. What? The puzzle. Look on the dull faces. The word finds. I have to come like not the third time. Can I get it? I see it by the dough. They instigate fuckery because it's profitable. I say stop the violence tunes. Do the half of the dough. But singing stop the violence tunes with niggas in hospitals. Yo, I could I could work at Genius. Yo, Genius, just, just give me half a million dollars. Uh, I'll, I'll transcribe all the big songs. What? But singing stop the violence tunes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because. Where that was about to go, they wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pocket grow, right? Now, it's interesting because he says, I would have lost a battle, I would have lost a bro. Now, I, I'm still saying to that line, like, dude, yo, Yo, Jake Cole, are you a man? Your bro just included you in a diss when you shouted him out. You said, we the big three like we started the league. You said, yo, right now it's, it's me, uh, 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 K-Dot and Drake. They're like You literally were shouting the guy out. Mm. Right? Of course, you're popping your shit saying you think you're the best, but you shouted the dude out. Then he goes on a song right after and says, fuck the big three and disses you. Why do you have to apologize to that guy? Like I'm like so puzzled. Right? So... When he says, like, um, yeah, I wouldn't have lost the battle, I would have lost the bro, I'm like, okay, I get it, because now he's talking about where that would have went to, right? And all for what? Just to attain more props from strangers who don't know what I've been aiming for. This also tells me that he's not a guy who wants that competition in terms of mudslinging and battling. I think he's down to compete. Exactly. I don't agree with all this shit that he said, but he don't want the smoke, bro. He, he, he can no longer... That's just what I'm so disappointed in. <sighs> Like I, I don't want to hear him say nothing anymore about who's the best, that he's the best. I, I, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. So disappointed. So disappointed. Compete. Like, I don't want to make it seem like J. Cole just don't want to compete. I think he's not to compete, but maybe not compete where he's like doing what Drake and because what Drake and Kendrick basically did was like almost like a Me Too fight. You know, yo, you beat your girl. Yo, you like little girls. Like, it really got nasty. Um, all right. Let me keep playing a little bit. That don't got a clue without but it only got nasty because of Drake. Drake was the one that talked about his people first. He said this was supposed to be a friendly fade. We should keep it this way. I don't think Kendrick would have would have said the things that he said if it wasn't for if it wasn't for uh, Drake throwing like the first low blow. I think if Drake would have just kept the hip hop, I think Kendrick would have kept the hip hop. But now nah, Drake went low, so he went lower. So I think if 
J. Cole, you know, take a diss at Kendrick and keep it hip hop. I think Kendrick would keep it hip hop. I don't think he going to start, you know, throwing out allegations and stuff. You know, that's just my opinion. I don't, you know, that's just my point of view. But I think Kendrick would have kept it, you know, friendly fade. That's what he said. This is this is supposed to be a friendly fade. We should keep it this way. All right? But Drake went low, so he went lower. <laughs> so once again, J. Cole, you a bitch. I've been aiming for since the age of 14. Jermaine is no king, if that means I got to dig up dirt and pay the whole team. Now, again, this is, I, I think he's, I think he's talking about Kendrick here. Like, you know, I think we all could say at this point, we'd be a sore loser or, or anybody would be a sore loser to be like, oh, Kendrick only won because of bots. But was there some bots and some manipulation and some, you know, paid campaigns and some other things that were probably used? And it seemed like it was probably, again, I'm not saying that maybe it wasn't used on both sides, but it appears that it was used more by Kendrick, right? Yeah. So when I hear J. Cole then talks about that, I'm like, are, are you attacking the methods of how this battle kind of happened to play out? Or are you attacking what Kendrick did? Because that kind of contradicts your last line because it looked like you really don't want to smoke with a dude. Bro, I would have gained the phone and all for what? Just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of 14. Jermaine. Somebody in chat says, act. Kendrick didn't buy anything, blah, blah. Well, why, let me ask you. Sometimes we got to take from a different angle when people say these things, right? Why do you think that J. Cole is saying that then? I, I don't even know. Let, let's say that's your opinion. Or let's say that's everybody's opinion. Why would J. Cole say, and you know he's describing how pretty much the battle went. I, I don't later, even care. And he feels that narratives and box. I don't even want to care, man. Help determine it. I don't so if I you don't feel like care. Kendrick never did anything, what is J. Cole talking about that? I don't care what J. Cole is saying right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about none of what he said in this song. I see what that was about to go. They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pit, they think I'm dodging smoke. I would have lost the battle dog, I would have lost the bro. I would have gained the phone and off of what just now it's kind of interesting too, because right here, um, when he's like, yo, um, they wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. It almost feels like he's attacking the media, which actually piggybacks off a point that Kendrick Kendrick was trying to, you know, pinpoint in that forgettable song that he dropped with the black shoelaces or whatever, or the black, you know, the black air forces, because he was calling out media as well. So it, it appears that J. Cole's kind of mirroring or parroting what we heard Kendrick say. And Kendrick was saying that, yo, like the media is a problem in certain senses. And it appears that Cole here is saying, yo, why would I feed into this beef when this beef is going to benefit the media who's looking for clicks in this and third? Um, and then. Man, no, he can't blame the media for that. Nigga, you was rapping about what you was rapping about, bro. You can't blame the media, J. Cole. Nigga, you wanted the smoke. You can't blame the media for that. No, the the people can't blame the media for all that shit. You wanted to be the best. You 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 was calling out Kendrick in the song with Drake. So Kendrick responded to y'all bitch asses. Now you scared. I don't respect that. I don't respect that nigga. You the one that called him out. You called and he answered. Now you want to hang up the phone. No, nigga. <laughs> Stay on the phone. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's have a conversation. You don't want to call me. Hello.